Hi all, Fat Andy here. Right, new Iceland, four quid. Um, they are the chicken breast fillets, um, strips, barbecue rib. Now you can get three of these um, for a for a tenner, I believe. Um, but I paid four quid, just got one of them. They are new. Um, yeah, let's get down, have a little look and uh, see, uh, see, see what they're all about. Right, and here we have them. Iceland crunchy coated chicken breast fillet strips at barbecue rib. They are new. Made with 100% chicken breast fillet. And we have 500 grams. As I say, you can get three, three mix and match, whatever they had up there for tenner. I didn't. I just got this um, SWAT review. It is new. So let's have a look here. Best results cooked from frozen, which this is. And these are guidelines only. You can do them in an oven, 20, 22 minutes, or you can air fry on a 1400 watt four litre, 10 to 12 minutes, depending on your air fryer. Uh, set temperature at 180, remove required amount from package and place on the air fryer basket. Cook for 10 to 12 minutes, turn halfway through cooking time, which I will do. Right, ingredients. Chicken breast fillet at 58%. Your only allergens I can see in there is wheat. Um, flour, fully refined soy, bean oil. Um, you can see all the um, ingredients there. Smoked flavouring, etc. Paprika, uh, onion powder, etc. Right, uh, allergy advice in bold, yes. Uh, why does it say 100% chicken breast fillet when it's only 58% chicken breast fillet? Um, well, then basically is everything's made with 100% fillet and they only use chicken breast fillets. Uh, the other 42 relates to the other ingredients such as the cooler. Right, nutritional information is there. Um, let's have a look at that. See if we can get that a bit better there. You can see the nutritional information on there. Uh, 500 grams, as I said, crunchy cooked chicken breast fillets with barbecue ribs. Uh, cooked chicken breast fillets, strips with barbecue flavouring. That's just some storage instructions. Um, little TH stamp on there, which means Thailand. And um, that's where your chicken's from. Right, let's get a look and have a look. Right. See what oysters are offering on this one. Well, these are what we've got. Chicken strips. You can see them all in there. Um, I'm not going to cook them all up. Um, two, three, four, five. What are we at? Two, four, six, seven. Who are we getting there? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 2, 4, 6, right, we'll have half on. Right, I'm going to get these in to the oven for the desired time. Oh, sorry, into the air fryer. So in 10 to 12 minutes. And uh, I'll come back to you when they're done. Right, here we have them. Out of the air fryer. Um, did the time. Yeah, seems crispy enough. Um, let's get one cut open. And we'll have a look at what we've got. You can see there the chicken. Nice chicken breast there. Right, let's get you up there. Have a taste test. And uh, set the light on. And see what these are like. To say they're new from Iceland, rather hot. Mm. Hot, <laughs> should let them cool down, eh? Right, first initial B 
bit that I get from there. That's a slight smokiness. Now, I would think, obviously, there's a, a smoke they've had a turp, maybe a little smoke turp or whatever. And you've got to remember, it's obviously in the coating, the flavouring. Um, a slight tad of pepper on the back of the throat. Not hot. Chicken is nice. Can't knock the chicken. But you definitely get a, a slight spook into the barbecue. Outside is definitely crispy. But apart from that, um, seasoning wise, the smoking is a slight bit of pepper. Not too bad, I must admit. I still think they lack a bit of salt on them. Now that. piece of chicken is very very chewy the first bit the first bit I had was really nice that bit was really rubbery and chewy um, see in there Hmm. They're not bad. I think they need a little bit of salt. Now these probably be good. A bit of garlic mayo dip, maybe. Yeah, I don't think I'm not rolling. They are, they are nice. The chicken's nice, apart from that bit I got. But um. Smokiness, slight taste of smokiness. Um, Spect is a stronger barbecue flavour on them. A little bit of warmth on the tongue from obviously pepper or something they've put in them. Um, could have done a little bit more salt maybe on it. Under seasoned again. In part. They're not, I mean, they're not bad at all. I'm, 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 I'm sort of going towards a seven and a half out of ten for them, to be fair. Um, I think if you had some mayo or even barbecue sauce or something like that, food chips, if you want that, have a salad with it. Um, yeah, not quite nice. But I'm going to do seven and a half out of ten. I think if you've got your own chicken thigh or chicken breast, if you want to use chicken breast, cut it, coat, put a coat on it, mix some probably that liquid smoke in it or something, with salt, pepper, roll your own. But anyway, seven and a half out of ten. They're quite nice. They just don't hit that spot perfectly with me. But there they are, new. Seven and a half out of ten. Chicken strips, um, barbecue, or barbecue rib it says. Four quid, three for a tenner. Um, if you want to go down that route. Uh, yeah, you'll try yourselves. That's my opinion. Um, what I think on it. But um, yeah, I mean, they're fine. They're quite nice, but... I don't think that warrant anything higher than a seven and a half of me. But as I say, that's my opinion. Right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up below. Comments below. Have you tried them yet? They're new. Um, if you didn't subscribe yet, please consider doing so to help the channel. And I'll catch you lovely people in the next one. Try it for yourselves. Make your own minds up. That's my opinion. Thanks for watching. Cheers.